Good morning. I'm back with a little, uh, a little more stand-up paddleboard action. I've hunted carp with my bow and arrow on my stand-up paddleboard. I've went to Florida and bass fished for trophy bass on my stand-up paddleboard. I've walleye fished, I fly fished on my stand-up paddleboard. It's a pretty versatile tool. But today I'm gonna float this river uh, and just look for ducks. It's duck season here in Minnesota. There's literally three of them right there. Look at that, can you see them? All right, they go, there they are. It's a little dark, but uh, I mean, if I was, just trying to kill ducks, I probably would have my gun and I'd be shooting at those. But I was on a larger river system yesterday doing this. Had a great time. Let's do it again today. This area has got a lot of wildlife, a lot of mink, a lot of beavers. The current's gonna be slower, so it's probably gonna be a little bit more work for me. I, don't, I won't just be floating down the river quite as much, but I wanted to try it out. I've never been on this river before since I was a kid. I used to trap down here, trapped beavers and stuff. So I'm familiar with the system, but I'm not as uh, confident exactly on what it looks like downstream. I've never floated it. All right, let's get on it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that just happened. <clears throat> Put on our shell. All right, how, how wild and crazy was that, huh? Wading the river, stand up paddleboard. Picked up a big mature goose. Just came flying over. You never know what's gonna happen out here. It's been tough on with the ducks on this piece of river, but finally got something here. The ducks, uh, they're here, but they're, uh, there's another goose over there. The ducks are here, but this river is so winding and there's so many little nooks and crannies that every time I come around a corner, they're just gone. All right, got some teal. Amen to that. Blue wings. <laughs> Holy cow. So I was looking at some raccoons. There was four raccoons. And uh, I was trying to figure out if I should film them or not. Come around the corner, there's a couple teal right next to the raccoons. Oh, baby. <laughs> 
There we go. <laughs> Good deal. I think, uh, I hope the shot camera turned on because I think I got a double. I think I took one shot and got them both. But uh, obviously blue wing, beautiful birds. It's been a long time coming. Floated a few miles already. But uh, that's what I'm out here for. A little adventure, a little duck action. Hit the breakwood dock there. Gotta get up there quick so I can find them. Come on. You managed to hide on me? This is a hit of wood duck, hit a male, a drake, beauty. And then I he would swim around this corner. I don't see him. He might just be up the river, but I don't know if I'm gonna find him or not. Might have gotten up on gotten flight, you know.
Good deal. About time. Oh, good. Whew. Finally got that Drake wood duck I've been looking for. Beautiful. There's so many wood ducks in this area. It's unbelievable. I mean, look at the trees, right? They love the trees. They hide in these little... In these little, like, log falls. Yeah. Bass fishermen call them laydowns. Pretty, pretty birds. Wow. <laughs> Excellent. These are kind of cool. They're like freshwater clams, but they're purple on the inside. See a lot of them. Some huge ones out here too. Some absolute giant freshwater clams. There we go. Oh, what's going on now? go. <laughs> Holy cow. We got a mallard. Um, come around this corner, two of them up and I got her just fine. And then my uh, stand-up paddleboard drifted into a real deep hole, but everything worked out. Beautiful. So we've got two teal. We got that one goose, we got two teal, we got a wood duck, drake, and a mallard. Good day so far. Shoot, it's tough. I uh, I got another opportunity at two mallard or two drake wood ducks, and I put one down, but it was the third shot, and uh, he dropped in this grass along the river, which is really challenging. If I had a dog, I might not even find him. Honestly, they burrow into this grass. But I obviously got to check and look and see what I can find here. Don't see anything, so I'm going to move on. I tried. Here's that cornfield. We're right on the edge of a cornfield. That's one of the reasons it's such a hot area.
Holy cow. We got four and a nice. goose. Four ducks and a goose. Right. Got a wood duck, a couple teal. Woo! Well, that's gonna wrap her up. Got Tim here picking me up. Holy cow. Dropped my phone in the water, so I was worried I wasn't gonna be able to communicate, and then the phone still worked, but then Tim's Tim's service plan quit on him or something. <laughs> what was that? What was yeah, that? Yeah, apparently they got bought up by Verizon and just cut off our service plan. Completely just cut out. So I was trying to call him and his wife. Nobody's picking up. The phone was going straight to voicemail. I was like, oh man, this is gonna stink. But uh then he called on his son's wristwatch phone. And uh, my phone worked enough to handle it, and here we are. So uh, four ducks, one goose, fun trip, difficult river system. There's a ton of like dams and snags and stuff, so I had to constantly like pull the whole works out and like go around. Lots of little portages. And the other thing that was treacherous about this is like really shallow, and there's like super deep edges. It wasn't as fun as the other river I was on. All right, thanks for watching. Cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and...